गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वी आर रनिंग लेट एंड आई वुड ट्राई टू कंपेंसेट फॉर द टाइम सो विल बी डिस्कसिंग ऑन इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑफ केरास म्यूटेशन इट इज़ मोर सो वाई केरास इज इम्पॉर्टेंट एज वी नो केरास इज एन इल्यूजिव टारगेट फॉर कैंसर थेरापी अक्रॉस ऑल कैंसर्स एंड इट इज क्वाइट अ कॉमन म्यूटेशन अक्रॉस ऑल कैंसर्स सो इट इज प्रॉबेबली द मोस्ट कॉमन म्यूटेशन मोस्ट कॉमन ऑन्कोजिन एंड इट amounts to around 86% of all ras mutations uh, despite its high prevalence uh, it has been undruggable for very long time it is due to relatively smooth surface which lacks deep binding pockets for drug targeting and second it has very high affinity for gtp uh, resulting in ineffective competitive inhibition again uh, there is molecular and clinical heterogeneity in keras driven cancers and there are a lot of co concomitant mutations or co mutations because of which uh, these cancers are not druggable uh, if we see uh, the absolute number then keras mutant are most prevalent driver mutation in nsclc unfortunately we don't have very good targets for them as of now and this keras mutation uh, prevalence varies depending on ethnicity right from uh, caucasian having 34% to asian patients uh, southeast asian uh, more of east asian patients 5% so this depends on ethnicity again uh, keras mutation is much more common in non squamous nsclc compared to squamous and amongst the keras mutation g12c is most common around 40 to 50% of keras mutations overall and if you see the absolute number in adenocarcinoma it is around 13% so g12c is an important uh, subset of this uh, keras universe keras mutations uh, they initiate downstream signaling pathway and activate via gtp Uh, pathway it is associated with poor prognosis uh, it has shown less response with chemotherapy so keras patients don't do well on chemotherapy when compared to keras wild type uh, you see more keras mutations in caucasians in smokers and in patients with adenocarcinoma uh, in invasive mucinous pleomorphic or sarcomatoid variant the prevalence is still higher it is important to note that all keras mutations are not same uh, depending on the codone involved the prognosis varies so it is important to know not only keras mutation but the type of keras mutation second important thing is there is very high prevalence of concurrent mutations like you see around 42% of tp53 29% of stk11 uh, 27% of keep1 so concomitant mutation or concurrent mutations are very important when you see a keras uh, mutated patient uh, and these concomitant mutations do have effect on planning of treatment so stk11 and keep1 mutations are negative predictors for immunotherapy when they are concurrent with keras mutant while tp53 is nu neutral similarly stk11 and keep1 mutations are not negative predictors predictors when keras g12c inhibitor is given uh, sotorosib or adagarasib so it is important to know the concomitant mutations also when you are seeing a keras mutant patients how should we test it so there are multiple ways of doing it but as we know most of us would be doing ngs now uh, and why we are discussing keras g12c it is because of these two drugs where response rate and progression free survival was good and unfortunately we had a phase 3 trial code break 200 where overall survival was not uh, very exciting so uh, do we stop at uh, g12c inhibitors no we are seeing uh, more keras inhibitors g12d g12v uh, pan keras inhibitors upstream effectors uh, protect technology cancer vaccines by specific antibodies or car t cells and there are pros and cons of having allele specific versus pan keras inhibitors especially the toxicity with uh, pan keras inhibitors but uh, last two slides are largely to show that so many things are going on in keras 
एंड होपफुली वी वुड बी इन अ सिचुएशन वेर वी कैन टारगेट दिस म्यूटेशन सो दिस आर ऑल ऑन गोइंग ट्रायल्स विथ डिफरेंट मेथड्स कैंसर वैक्सीन्स कार्टी सेल्स स्पेसिफिक इनिबिटर्स पेन केरास इनिबिटर्स एवरीथिंग इज बींग ट्राइड फॉर इट सो दिस इज द टाइम लाइन हाउ फ्रॉम नोइंग दैट रास ऑंकोजीन इज इम्पॉर्टेंट इन नाइनटीन एटी टू नाउ फ्रॉम टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू वंस वी हैव सम केरास जी ट्वेल्व सी इनिबिटर्स वी आर नाउ ट्राइंग टू कंबाइनिंग इट विथ कीमोथेरापी और कंबाइनिंग इथ विथ इम्यूनोथेरापी एंड वी हैव मल्टीपल other options which are being tried and hopefully uh, in near future we will have something which we can target for this keras mutated patients thank you